We're about three hours into a 15 mile hike and my guide has dropped to the ground. Appearing in the spruce bog just ahead is a lone cow caribou with a shooter bull in tow. It's the first day of the hunt and these are woodland caribou, a big bodied small rack reindeer like species that lives exclusively on the island of Newfoundland. As I ready my bow, my guide Peter draws out a white kerchief and immediately begins grunting and flagging. I've never seen a caribou called in before and watch in awe as this bull grunts and walks into easy bow range. I'm Tom Miranda and bow hunting the rutting bull caribou of Newfoundland is heart pounding excitement. As the waves crash against the rocky coast, cliffs rise from the foaming salt water. Fjords cut into the landscape, creating natural harbors for remote fishing villages. Here, the sea gives way to rolling mountains of spruce forest, dotted with the golden leaves of autumn birch. This is Newfoundland, Canada's easternmost maritime province and the land first settled by the Vikings centuries before Columbus found the New World. Bow hunting pro Tom Miranda has traveled to Halley, Newfoundland in search of the elusive woodland caribou. Together with Canadian guide Peter Broughton, the team will walk the trackless bogs and scrub spruce ridges, looking for the chocolate antlered bulls that roam these rain-soaked muskegs. It's early October, and the dominant woodland bulls are busy protecting and tending their small harem of cows. You know, a lot of guys don't realize that when you're hunting like this, you know, it's, it's all about spotting. If you don't find what you're looking for and figure out a plan to go after it, it can be, you know, you can spend a lot of time and waste a lot of calories chasing stuff that you're never going to get on. Yeah. It's the secret is get up on these high points. Even from this spot here, I mean, we can see more than we can want to walk in a day. <laughs> you see a lot of real estate up here for sure. Yep. So you keep looking, all you see is rocks, but every now and then one of them rocks will move. <laughs> That's right. That's a caribou laying down or something. I like the one that moves with the big <laughs> With the sticks on his head. That's right. The woodland caribou is a unique animal, sporting the smallest antlers of all North America's caribou subspecies, the woodland's body size is still massive. What you can expect to see here is anywhere from 10, 15 to 20 caribou in a bunch and you, you do cover some ground when you're hunting them caribou because they don't, they don't have the big migration but they do cover some ground here, they're always moving. These caribou are just on the other side of the hill here, Tom. I think what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to sneak around the other side here. Be slow and quiet. Okay. There's more bow hunting action when Tom Miranda's Newfoundland adventure continues here on ESPN Outdoors. Newfoundland is also the home to the Eastern Canadian moose. Many hunters plan a combination moose caribou hunt and the success rate on mature bull moose is very high. The frenzy of rut triggers bucks and bulls to do things they normally wouldn't do. And for the bow hunter who can capitalize on an opportunity, the results are fantastic. I 
I just love the feeling and the challenge of trying to get archery close to animals. And I love adventure bow hunting, uh, going to a place I've never been before and hunting an animal that I've never hunted before. Uh, there's research involved, understanding uh, where these animals live, why they like the habitat that, that they live in, what time of season that I'm going, and what are the animals going to be doing in that time of season. You believe that? 52 yards broadside. Probably should have got a moose license. We saw one the other day in the middle of the road, driving into another place just like this. But we're after woodland caribou, so we'll just keep on it. Tom Miranda and guide Peter Broughton have decided to try a new area, and the hunters prepare for another long day of hiking the boggy lowlands. I think what we're going to do, we're going to hike in over these barrens here. Clear days like this really help when you're glassing for caribou. The woodland caribou is one of five caribou species recognized by the Pope and Young Club that Tom must harvest to complete his super slam of North American big game animals. We have one of the better areas in Newfoundland here for hunting the woodland caribou. We have a couple of large management areas, over 900 square miles in each area. We, we still have a pretty good population of woodland caribou here, but no doubt about it, the population has declined over the past few years. With caribou licenses cut 80%, only 300 tags are available in all of Newfoundland, and these animals are strictly managed. With our caribou hunts, it's on a first come, first serve basis. So it is a limited hunt, but we, we still see uh, good, healthy numbers. Caribou, caribou. It's a cow. There's a bull behind her, see? Known as a tough caribou to bow hunt, the woodland can be elusive, and Miranda knows that he may get only one good chance on his six day hunt. It's a, it is a challenge for a bow hunter, no doubt about it. It's a different ball game than, than with the rifle. But uh, we've got a lot of years hunting woodland caribou here, and we've, we've got it down to a science. It's exciting when a plan comes together. And when you can be on the ground and move into range and then there's the animal and you see them and it's a big one and you know that's what you've been trying to find all week, that's when the nerves set in. And when the nerves set in, you can make mistakes. Always think about your shot. You never want to just shoot the animal. You want to pick a spot on him and you want to shoot for the vitals. believe that? Peter, that was awesome, man. Is that close or what? <laughs> Great job. Nice pull, too. Oh, man. That's, that's how the flagging works. I'm telling you, this is the hot ticket. Oh, yeah. It works every now and then. Yep. It's a nice pull. I could hear him, you know, when he was coming towards you, you know, just like you were you know, making that sound. He was getting worked up. <laughs> he didn't want us here. Calling in a caribou. Can you believe it? That's exciting now. Fooling a rut-crazed bull to walk away from his harem of cows and into bow range proves the natural instincts of animals can be used to successfully hunt them. We're in good shape here. We got the caribou between us and the lake. I think we got a shot at them. If we sneak over around on them and get in a little closer, we might be able to call them in.
the rising sun obscured by heavy clouds and rain, bow hunting pro Tom Miranda and guide Peter Broughton have spotted a huge woodland caribou. The herd bull is surrounded by at least a dozen cows and a small satellite bull. You sneak up by that next bit of brush. And when you're ready, just give me a sign. And we'll see if we can call him in. Get his attention. With so many eyes and ears, getting close to the bull will be nearly impossible. But Peter has hunted many woodland caribou and has a plan to slip in close and call the huge bull into Miranda's bow range. When everything comes together and the animal's walking in the range, you don't want to get rattled. You want to keep your composure. I think the key to it is not to get wrapped up into the moment. Think a lot about how you're going to get the job done. And how you're going to do it is by proper technique with your bow. Taking the first good shot opportunity. It's all about hitting that one spot. Unbelievable. <laughs> Did you see that? Woodland caribou. We grunted him right in. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, he's really leaving a blood trail. You know, sometimes when you get a situation like that, you've got to take that quartering forward shot. It's not a best case scenario, but you just gotta aim for that opposite back leg and we got good vitals. Look at this. There he is. <laughs> Peter, thank you very much. <laughs> He's huge. Woodland caribou. Yeah. Look at this bull. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> He's huge. This is a giant woodland caribou. I mean, double shovel, big palmated bez with lots of points, unbelievable palmated main beams, and really good tops. Was that exciting? That had the most, the most exciting caribou hunt ever captured on video. He comes right in. Peter, come over here, man. I am so stoked. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff, eh? <laughs> oh, look at this. Heavy beams, dude. He got into position, and you put the handkerchief call mode on him. <laughs> <laughs> he fell for it. <laughs> yeah. Ten-yard shot. He doesn't go 100 yards and piles up here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that caribou. <laughs> Thank you so much, Peter. Good job, my friend. <laughs> look at this. Look at this big caribou.